on set for Godzilla King of Monsters was, it was like just play. It was fun. Um, Mike is a huge fan of Godzilla. He understands what that world is better than anybody. He, I think it was a great choice to have him direct and write that film. And, and same with, you know, the other actors, you know, Jason Lyles and Richard Dorn, who played Ghidorah with me. You know, we just, we just had fun. You know, we're all three of us, we do this for a living as we, we play non-human characters. And uh, specifically, Richard is like the king of mocap. Um, I'm heavy into practical. And then Jason Lyles is, is actually like a good blend of the two. So it was, it was, it, it was a perfect harmony having the three of us together and, and we just played from the get-go it was very easy we were actually going to have um, I think a whole day of rehearsals at first and we just started filming because we, we just fell into it we just knew what we needed to do and, and it was great we just moved real quick I I've worn full body silicone rubber creature suits where you are profusely sweating inside and you're like <sighs> can't breathe, you can't see, things that are eight hour makeups, things that are 160 pound suits. So wearing PJs with like some Velcro dots stuck on you and I can see, I can breathe, I can use my hands. It was really comfortable. And in fact, there was one day on Rampage where where someone asked me, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Can we get you? And I, and I just gotten off a gig where I was in a 160 pound suit with animatronic wires over my face. I couldn't see outside of it at all. And I was like, I'm, I'm fine. I'm very comfortable. Thank you. And so it was refreshing and a lot of fun, especially with Rampage being the, the arm extensions. That was really a lot of fun. It's kind of like getting taught how to skate on a skateboard in a way. And then with uh, with Godzilla King of the Monsters, it was even it was even less so. Um, it was even 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 more comfortable because it was. Um, yeah, I didn't have to have arm extensions. You know, we were just wearing more upright and whatnot. But it's really cool. It's very comfortable wearing that stuff, and it's cool because then you have to use pure imagination because you're not wearing anything practical. So you just have to really imagine. You got to look out of your eyes as like, what would I? What would it feel like if I was this character? You know, what does this character think like, feel like, breathe like, all that? In the digital world, you can create these incredible expansive universes without spending a lot of money that you would practically you know suit work um like i've seen the godzilla films for me it's a man in a rubber suit you can only get so much um organic movement out of it you know that's one thing i mean you you have to admit those movies are some of it they're pretty funny and and the puppetry that was used to make it that's, that was the, the height of their um, technology at the time. But as we have now grown with the computer, with the, the digital artists who can do stuff, I mean, our Ghidorah looks fierce and, and scary, and which is what he was supposed to be. I mean, he was, he's pretty scary. Um, we were taking over the world, you know, that kind of, we were, we were, we were destroying the, you know, cities in the world and we were causing tsunamis and all this kind of stuff. I don't, you can't do that practically anymore. So the technology has helped in certain ways. I mean, I, I love personally, I, I love uh, practical makeups in, um, instead of CG makeups, you know, bullet hits. I, I, I love to see squibs. I love to see, you know, really good uh, prosthetic sculpting, things like that. I like a lot of practical makeup in general, but the technology, when you use it the right way, you know, you can get the desired effect like you do in King of the Monsters. So we have to adapt. And I think that's part of it. You know, if they tried to do a rubber suit, you know, Godzilla movie now, it would get panned and it wouldn't have the audience. It might become a cult classic 25 years from now, but it's, um, you know, technology isn't a bad thing. There's a long time between when you shoot it and when you finally see the movie. And I was in the movie theater uh, and I'd worked on several things since I shot the first Godzilla. And so I, and we shot a whole bunch of stuff. We shot a bunch of different Indians. We shot a, a whole bunch of different possible fights, the way the Mudos fought. 
So I didn't know which ones they chose. We're not there for that. We just shoot all the stuff and then they take it and they do all the magic to it. So I forgot most of what I did and I didn't know what they chose. So when I am watching them fight and I see these red lamps kind of bouncing around in the foreground and uh, the Mudo had just thrown Godzilla back and I was like, I, I'm in the movie. I forgot that I did it. I, I am just gone. I'm just like, oh man, they outnumber him. He's getting his ass kicked. And then you hear this, whoa, 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 whoa. And you see this weird light and I was like, what is that? Wah, 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 and then he blows the atomic breath. And I'm like, ah! you lose your mind. It is the best thing ever. And I didn't know they were going to light stuff up and make sounds. We didn't have all of that when we were on the stage. I was just like, ah! and you don't think about the tail. You don't think about that. But all of those digital artists do. And just a quick shout out to the unsung heroes, really. The entire CGI team, the special effects team, the uh, storyboard artists, the uh, atmospheric guys who make the atmosphere and make it look like night and make all the energy and the debris and the explosions, and the teams that make, all the artists that make Godzilla look like Godzilla, the riggers, the model makers, all of those guys, they never get a shout out. But because of all of those really dedicated people who love what they do, we get to watch Kong, we get to watch Godzilla, we get to see all of these amazing things happen on screen. It's because of all of their hard work, but nobody ever shouts them out. So uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to all of the digital artists who make us look amazing and make our stories come to life in full color.